Hello, I'm Daniil, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, uh, inspiration, guidance, advice. And um, in previous videos, uh, I've uh, spoken about the, uh, the effects and the consequences uh, of tears and how uh, the Creator listens and values these tears and, and He holds them. A similar thing can be said about words. Words have meaning, words have power. And even something said casually or said uh, in, in the heat of anger, the lightest word can have tremendous consequences. Many years ago, there was a, a Rav in Jerusalem. <clears throat> he and his wife were unable to have children. And after 20, 24 years of marriage, they finally had a child. And at the celebration, the Rav told this story. When he was a yeshiva boy, he was a young uh, uh, yeshiva boy, a uh, slonomer, a chosid, a young man, a boy. He was in yeshiva, and the boys were studying, and there was a, a woman, an older, an older woman, um, and she had, uh, she had her kids with her, two or, three, two or three little boys, and they were too young to be left at home. She didn't have anyone else to take care of them, so she would bring them to work. And she was mopping up the floors, cleaning the floors, sweeping up, and these kids were like, you know, you know two, three, four, five years old. They were making an incredible racket, a real, they were running amok. The boys in yeshiva, the, the guys were trying to study, learning some gemaras, learning something in the Talmud, some Jewish law, some halachas. They couldn't get anything done. The noise was a, it was a real, it was, it was mayhem. So this young man, this particular young man, said to the woman, no, don't you think it'd be a good idea to discipline your kids? Seriously? The woman, who, believe me, had enough problems, she didn't have to hear from this kid, she remarked to him, would that you not merit to experience tsar gidl banam, the pain, the the tsar, the anxiety, the pain of raising children. Now, the young, foolish yeshiva boy at the time thought that she was giving him a bracha, giving him a blessing. Oh, you should have an easy time, you know, raising your kids. Maybe, in fact, this is what the woman meant. But the words were said. The words had meaning and the words had effect and the word has consequences. This young man, he grows up, he gets married, he finds his beshert, his, his, his intended one, his soulmate. They have a very happy, happy, blissful marriage with one problem. They were unable to have children. They were beside themselves. They were both you know, young and they, they went to, to, to Rabbanim, they went to rabbis, they went to doctors, they were trying medicines, all sorts of things. Nothing worked. Years go by, 10 years, 15 years, unable to have children. They were approaching middle age and um, still nothing. The rabbi was walking along the road, you know, worried about his predicament. And he notices a bunch of small children screaming and shouting and playing outside the window of a yeshiva. And this incident comes back to him about the woman. And he feels so guilty. He manages to somehow look her up, finds out where she was. She's still alive, she's, she's in the neighborhood. And he looks her up, he finds her, and he apologizes for the words he said and in his youth and in his foolishness. The woman remembered him, oh yes, and she remembered his words, but she saw that he was sincere, that he truly repented, that he truly regretted this incident that happened 20, 24 years ago. And the woman forgave him. And she said, you know those, those little boys that were making all those noise, all that noise when you were studying? They too have grown 
to become rabbis, become quite, uh, quite learned. And uh, they left on good terms. Nine months later, um, the rabbi was blessed with a child. And it shows you that words have meaning. Words have confidence. And the people who heard him telling this story, I think it was at the Bris, I'm not sure, um, they were deeply moved. And it cemented in them the knowledge that sometimes even something said lightly, even something that was meant as a joke, something that said uh, in frustration, in anger, God forbid, words have consequences. Words have meanings. We always have to watch what we say, especially when we're frustrated, especially when we're impatient. Uh, we're going to be having, uh, we're going to be making more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. I hope you're finding them uh, of some use. And until next time, on behalf of the Emona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.